Hello and welcome back here at CG Weasel to another Cinema 4D tutorial. Today I would like to talk to you about the Axis Center tool. Most of you know it and you use it to get the axis in the middle of an object which might have been imported from a CAD file or an just some export FBX or whatever and the axes are just off and then you click the object, you hit it and put the axis somehow back in the center. But the Axis Center tool can do so much more and most of the users don't even know it. Which is why I would like to change that. So I created a fairly complex scene here with a uh, single cube. I convert it into a polygon object. Let's open the Axis Center tool. So you will find it under Mesh, Axis, Axis Center and you will get this pop out window. The other way I usually do it is hit Shift C to get the commander and then just type axis center and then, well, this is the beautiful way to do it. For the simple options, we're just gonna use the cube because this is just the beginning and this is probably the stuff most of you know. By default, those are the settings. Center, axis to all points, zero, zero, zero. So if we click auto update, uh, we can see live that we're moving the axis, like the X and the Y and the Z and so forth. So if I'd like to put it in a special corner, I'm probably gonna go all the way over here and all the way down, down and all the way back here. So we're getting, we're getting our axis at this one corner or maybe halfway up, like put this back to zero. So it's just right there. So this is what most people know and that's what they use it for. But this is by far not everything this wonderful tool can do. Let's delete the cube and let's get a little bit more complex. I have my Mac here and the Mac is an import from um, OBJ and it came out of I'm not sure, I think it was Max or something like that. The problem here is exactly the problem I was talking about. The axes are all off. Like, I mean, totally off. I mean, look at that. What's that? And it kind of makes life harder. Especially when you start rigging stuff or animating it and it needs to turn around a certain ring or point or whatever. So let's see how we can fix this. If I take his uh, heavy gun up here, um, the axes are somewhere up there, which is absolutely not useful at all. You should turn around this ring right there and that's definitely not happening. So now I could get in manually and go into side view and stuff and see if we, let's hide this and see if we actually can get the axis in there but I'm not even gonna start doing this because that's just way too much effort. This is where the axis center tool comes in because it can do just so much more. For this particular part let's hop into the edge mode. As we can see we got a lot of tries here which is why well, we're not gonna use the poly mode because I'm not gonna be able to make a clean um, polygon loop selection here so we're gonna try out the uh, edge mode. So let's hit UL for the loop selection tool. Click the loop right there. And now let's get our axis center tool. Go axis tool. And not all points, what we want is actually select edges. So let's do this. And you can actually go back into object mode because he's saving the selection and he knows about the selection. And just hit execute and if you go back into a move tool then we see the axes are perfectly in the middle of this ring and now this thing is rotating around the perfect spot so this is just one way we use the edges to get our axes where we want them exactly so but as you can imagine there's um, there are more options so now let's get this plate to got the axis right here and if we rotate those, that's probably not gonna work. Um, so let's hide the Mac again. Oh, no, let's get him back for a second. Hide the Mac, hit S to jump to my object. If you don't know what 
S actually means here in Maxon, then you might want to watch my other tutorial because S is a very powerful button. And now there we have our covering plate for the missiles. So now let's go into party mode. Get our life selection tool. And now let's just select the ring of fire here. No, oh, that's, you know, that's pretty much it. Okay. And now let's go over here. Let's go back into the object mode E, so to the move tool, so we see the axis jump. Go into selected polygons, execute. Oh, yeah. Don't, no need for execute since I have auto update on. I'm gonna turn this off because this irritates me. Okay, and now our axes are right there. Hit rotate or, and now this is rotating perfectly at the hinge it should be. There's just one little thing I would like to change and that's the alignment of the edges. And guess who's gonna help us there? And that's the axis center tool because it also aligns your axis in a very, very cool way. So let's stay in here. Let's go into the edge mode. Let's check this out. That looks that looks good. It aligns nicely with the rest of the plate. Maybe not 100%, but it sh should be fine. Now let's tick off center because our axes are at the right place. We just want to realign them a little bit. And now let's hit alignment. We want to, well, yeah, let's align all axes. Alignment to normals. No, selected edge. Hit execute. Go back here. And now, as you see, our axes are aligned, which is just awesome. And for a third combination, let's get our Mac back. I think I have here one. Yeah. So let's hide the Mac again. S to get our shape. There we are. Okay, I want to open this again. Access totally at the wrong place. Not gonna open anything here because I would like to open it up here. First, um, I would like to do this with point because we got a single point right there, which is gonna help us out. So we're gonna move the axis to the selected point and we're gonna align the axis to a selected edge, which has not been selected yet, but we're gonna do this right now. So let's get over to uh, into edge mode. Let's take a match. That one looks fine. So we got a match selected and a point selected. And now let's get back over here. Our axes are currently right here in world axis mode aligned. Okay, now let's uh, hit execute and boom, there they are at this point in position and the alignment of this one edge and if we take back our mac now this is just beautiful beautiful to open up the casing here this is awesome and this is just time saving hours and days if you have a lot to do with cat files and hard surface stuff even for rigging i mean Putting joints on the right position to make them rotate and parent them and stuff like that. Everybody who's rigging knows what I'm talking about. And this is just so, so helpful. So this is the main, main thing. But there's even more to this. And let's do a couple of quick examples here. So we figured out all the axis to stuff, you know, two edges, two polygons, two points, to all points, which just kind of calculates the center of the objects. Um, also alignment, you can align it to polygon normals to the selected edge or just to the world if you would like to that. In terms of rigging, um, having it zeroed out on the world is often a thing to do because otherwise stuff just gets crazy but we don't need the alignment right here but there are more actions actually so there's axis 2 which is one one thing but there's also object 2 which means if your axis are actually in the right spot but your object is kind of off then you can just let's hit our update here 
then you can just go object two and then well, all points or select the points or whatever and move the object just the way you want it and the axis stay at this exact spot okay next action would be view center that would be helpful in some really big 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 scenes where you're like i don't know at a certain spot and you're bringing in an object and it's just way off and you just don't know where it is um that might help you out so i'm gonna just hover over here and we got our gun still selected and now just hit execute and boom there it is also very very helpful next action then will be parent 2 so let's uh, parent some stuff up like uh, let's skip this and our gun is 33 and this is that so okay so now we have a parent and a child and if i actually select the child and say position rotation and everything i want the parent to hop to the child now let's hit execute and boom the parent which is our gun actually hops over to the child which is sometimes quite handy you know it's easy to move the child over to the parent but once you start moving the parent of course the child goes with it so this is where access center comes in handy again and the last action is also to parent it moves the child to the parent so it's actually kind of like reset psr and stuff like that okay one last little quick tip on the access center tool um this is a situation i run into sometimes or well maybe more than sometimes is uh, in MoGraph projects where I have a lot of clones or objects that are just roaming around. So I have a bunch of objects, different ones, clone ones, whatever, and they're usually uh, within a null. So let's create a null, get those objects right up in here. My problem is that my objects are up here and my null is down here, which is kind of a bummer. Because this is like not, not intuitive at all, having it like that. So I could use the axis mode by hitting L and then just kind of align it in here. And most of the time this is fine. But since you have the axis center tool here anyway, and you should dock this, please, you really should dock this. Then all you have to do is go to click your null access center to all points include children use all objects execute boom there is your null in the center of all your objects or clones or whatever it is it's not getting any easier than that and i'm pretty sure this is only about 70 percent of the stuff the access center tool can do if you want to know more and you know get into stuff i didn't cover here then just go into a help file because it's just has everything in here um maybe in fewer words than i just did and without the moving demonstration but it should get you started and you just learn more about it the help file is a very good resource uh, at any time okay so that's pretty much it from me about the access center tool um, if this helped you or speeds up your workflow, I'm very happy that I could help you out. If you have any other modes and stuff I didn't cover here, please leave a comment down below. Um, you can leave a comment about anything down below. If you have any further questions, hit me up too. And if you're a really nice lady or guy, you just subscribe to my channel. And then I guess I see you next time. Bye bye.